Hi, today I'm going to show you a really cool haircut. It's a shop back in size. We're going to use lots and lots of different techniques. Clippers, scissors, razors. The razors I'm going to use are Donald Scott NYC. Hope you enjoy. So the first techniques we're going to use are the razor techniques. The most important thing before you razor cut is to use Prepare. Prepare is liquid to prepare the hair from Donald Scott NYC. There's two oils in here. There's sunflower oil, coconut oil, and there's some um, soap powder in here as well. Now that separates it all so it doesn't uh, weigh the hair down and, and um, make it floppy and, uh, and grease the hair up. It's very, very, very important that you use this. I mean, the blade will just glide through the hair as, you, as you're cutting it. So the first razor I'm going to use is the Donald Scott Chopstick, the Chopstick Pro. And I'm going to be cutting down the, uh, the vertex area here. And we're going for a shot back and sides haircut. So first, we need to take a lot, a lot of the length off. But at the same time, we're going to put a bit of a texture on too. The technique that I'm using is a direct peel. So this is where we sandwich the hair in between the razor blade and my thumb. Now I can't cut my fingers or my thumb with this razor because it's a guarded blade. This technique is fantastic. I'm squeezing the hair in between the thumb and the blade just dragging the, the blade directly up in a vertical motion. I'm going to continue this technique all the way through to the back of the vertex towards the crown. Nice neat sections to be able to have a lot of control and know where you've been. So I'm looking at the hair now and I've got a lot of texture in there. It's still a little, little bit too long. So I'm going to just go back in there and take a little bit more length off. Those ends. As I get back towards the crown, you can see I've got this section 90 degrees from the scalp. I'm going to use the 100% side and the 50% side. This is just creating some fantastic texture throughout this top. So now we've dried it all off, looking really, really good. A lot of cool texture in there. All done with the Donald Scott razors. We use the Chopstick Pro and the carving comb. Now we're going to cut the sides with the clippers and then we're going to blend it through. So on this one, I am using the Magic Clip, the Wild Magic Clip. And I'm using the number three here. And as I get to the contour of the head here, I'm just lifting out to get a bit of a blend. This is even without doing any scissor blend. Just using the clipper to freehand blend as I get to the contour of the head. And just follow this round to the other side. So now I'm going in with a one and a half. And I'm going to be tapering this up to around this area here where the hairline peak follows through just below the occipital bone. So now as I'm starting to work with the shorter parts of the hair here, I'm going down to number one. I'm going to change the comb for a brush because this brush will be able to brush out all the 
tiny, tiny little hairs and give me a clean area to work from with this number one. We'll clean up the hairline with the Donald Scott NYC DSX4. Got a guarded blade on there. So you can't cut the skin. So there we are, the finished haircut. Now I'm going to use a really cool product on the hair. It is my pomade. What's great about this is it is water soluble. So even washing it off your hands, you don't need soap. You can just do this with a little bit of water. Now all that texture that we've cut in earlier with the Donald Scott NYC razors is really, really going to be shown up now and brought out with this amazing product. So just to recap, Donald Scott NYC razors on the top to get that texture, the bolt removed and taken up with the sides here with the clippers, blending up through the scissors and use the uh, Rothschilds pomade on the top. Now you can get all these products from the website rothschilds.co.uk forward slash shop. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.